Hi everyone, my name is Aditya and I'm going to talk about our paper titled Same Object, Different Grasps, Data and Semantic Knowledge for Task-Oriented Grasping. So in recent years we've seen tremendous progress in data-driven stable grasping and now we can even generalize to a lot of unknown objects. But still this is very different from how humans do grasping, right? Because we don't just pick up objects for the sake of it, but we want to grasp objects to complete a task, be it prototypical tool use or even uh, creative uses. But it's been very hard to teach robots task-oriented grasping because there's a big bottleneck in terms of supervision. So stable grasping has a lot of uh, sources of data like simulation, shape net, and so on. But for task-oriented grasping, uh, we've proposed crowdsourcing, but prior work has mainly relied on manual human labeling or reward engineering. So here are some uh, prior work in the field, and a lot of them have mainly been restricted by the number of object categories or a small set of tasks. And what we have done is we propose a new data set that is an order of magnitude more in terms of the semantic tasks and real objects. And we also provide semantic knowledge as part of the uh, data set. So for our contributions, we present the task risk data set, which is a pretty large data set so we can study generalization. And we also present the GCN GRASS framework to jointly reason from both object geometry and semantic knowledge. And we have 3D point cloud data in the data set and each object has uh, task-oriented grasps that have been annotated. And there's several different uh, objects like knives, tongs, mugs, bowls, and so on. And each object has also uh, several different tasks you can perform, like cutting, handing over, uh, cleaning, scooping, and so on. And to concretely define our problem, we want to learn task-oriented grasping from both the point cloud and uh, task constraints. Like we want to use the water and can for pouring. And here, our goal is to recover uh, the set of uh, uh, six tough grasps of a parallel jaw gripper uh, that are suitable for this task. And we're going to factorize this problem to two steps. First is uh, task agnostic stable grasping. And second, we're going to focus on task oriented evaluation of the stable grasps. And I mentioned semantic knowledge. And there are two main types here. Uh, first is explicit knowledge. And this is in the form of a knowledge graph. So at the very leaf nodes, you have uh, the grasps themselves and these are attached to the uh, class nodes and we have uh, task object relationships like you know mug can be used for scooping scissors for cutting uh, and so on and we also have an object hierarchy that we obtained by resolving tasks uh, task grasp to uh, wordnet and we also have implicit knowledge in the form of word em uh, word effect embeddings which essentially encode semantic similarity of different entities or the graph nodes in vector space so using both of these types of semantic knowledge, uh, we can apply it to the grasping task. And uh, our framework is called uh, GCN Grasp. And essentially, the input is a point cloud of the object. And let's say in this case, we want to use a mug for the pouring task. And we're going to use some prior work uh, to encode this uh, point cloud and grasp into a fixed dimensional feature vector. And we also have the knowledge grasp, uh, graph from the previous step. And what we're going to do is to attach a grasp node that you see in green. We're going to attach it to the corresponding class in the knowledge graph. We're going to initialize this grasp node with the uh, shape vector. And the other nodes in the graph are initialized from the corresponding word -vec embedding. So once we've initialized the graph, we're going to do uh, standard graph convolutions, which essentially does message passing of these embeddings between the different uh, nodes in the graph. And finally, we're going to take the uh, embedding corresponding to the grasp node and use it to do uh, evaluation of the uh, grasp itself. And uh, in our data set, we, it's a pretty large data set, so we, can do, we study generalization from several different angles, be it held out instances, uh, categories, or tasks. And this is of increasing uh, difficulty level. So uh, our first baseline was a random baseline, which uh, is essentially a task agnostic baseline that does only stable grasping. We also compare it to semantic grasping network, uh, which learns all of these semantic relationships from scratch without any prior knowledge. And of course, our um, GCN grasp approach outperforms all these baselines and is essentially able to uh, achieve good generalization by using this semantic uh, prior knowledge as well as the uh, geometric information. And we're also able to execute our grasps on the real robot uh, from our GCN grasp framework. So these are all unknown objects in novel poses, unknown grasps, and we're still able to uh, pick up these uh, objects. And so uh, we've also released our code 
and uh, feel free to uh, reach out to us and uh, we'd like to chat more about it. Thanks so much.